Hey everyone, this is my Patreon Pod reaction to the 52nd episode of Hikaru no Go. And last episode, Hikaru had to deal with this guy just trying to sell a lot of, uh, a lot of misleading merchandise, like boards that are not made of the wood that they say they're made of, or got a signature that's not a real signature, like a lot of that stuff that Hikaru had to lay down the line and say, no, bad, don't, don't be doing that, that's clearly fake. Not, not good. And also we met a cool guy named Kurata. Well, an interesting guy named Kurata. I think I'll remember that one for a while. So that's kind of what we had last episode. You know, also kind of a match with, with a, a weasel, you know, a very not worthy of respect pro that's over the hill, I think they said. So anyway, let's just get into the episode and see where we're going to get today. Three, two, one, play. Kimi no many. Huh. <sighs> <sighs> Might be a little bit tired. I'm sure someday we'll get that proper match between Toya Meijin and Sai. <laughs> yeah, getting the title of Meiji would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, who is this band that seems to be so full of himself? You don't know me, the great Kurata? Are you insane? Yes, you should be. It should be hard to forget, it's the title of the show. Hikaru versus Akira, that is definitely a very eye catching title. That's unfortunate. Well, it seems pretty peaceful. <laughs> Why, uh, shut up. Well, I believe him. Well, I'm sure he'll explain it to me. <laughs> uh, oh, he got it. <laughs> Yeah, why, uh... Okay, I can believe that. Yeah, it's crazy how fast time goes by, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. He's continuing to improve, Ikaru. Okay.
I'm sure you do. Sounds fun. Yeah, that's completely doable. Oh, we want to play more. <laughs> you want to say something? <laughs> one of you, stop, Toya. One of you, I don't care which one it is, just do it. <laughs> I guess that's a bit of a trigger. Well, looking good there, Ikaru. Yeah, it doesn't see you at all. Not even, not even a little bit. Probably. <laughs> uh, yeah. And yet he's a pro. It's crazy. Yeah, New York is shorter than him too. <laughs> Uh, asking the important questions. Well, that would probably be a good idea if we're going to have a job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's still in middle school, and yet... And yet... But yeah, not something he has to worry about right away, though. The real surprise is that they got him in that suit. Oh, Kurata! You're here, too. Long time no see. <laughs> oh no, Hikaru, you made a mistake. How will you ever survive without his autograph? Sort of. It's a long story. He's a little bit eccentric. A little bit weird. Well, that's nice. The Women's Award. For extras. Nothing wrong with being a maka. Yeah, but we're trying to catch up to Toya. Akira. Step by step. Shush, I'm talking to my ghost friend. I wonder as well. Well, let's, let's hope it's not. Not this early. Okay, that's good to know. Let's go for three down. Is that Ochi? Oh no, that's so, oh, that's Akira. <laughs> that's Akira. Is he gonna have to, is he gonna say anything to Hikaru? Cause he's kind of walking in with, with intention, it looks like. But, uh, yeah, are you at least gonna say hi, if nothing else? Feels like you've been ignoring him for a while. And I love this music, it's one of my- probably is my favorite track in the show. This music right here. Man, this stare down. <laughs> I 
is walking up to him, it looks like. So, gotta give him a congratulatory pat on the back. Or a hug, or a handshake. Maybe a kiss, I mean, I'm not one to judge. <laughs> what do you think of me now, Toya? Are you impressed? Are you gonna praise me? Give me a head pat or just walk by me again? I should have known. I should have known. Uh, didn't even acknowledge him. It's not cool, Akira. It's not cool. I'd grab his shoulder or something. If I was him. So rude. Act like we're not bestest Tomodachis, it's just it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, there's Ochi, okay. Far less dramatic than Akira's introduction. Yeah, you show him what's up. Teach him a lesson for being so rude to you and ignoring you. Could have at least said a hi. But I guess he's just that upset that Akira's got that T card was gotten this far. <laughs> I know. I know. Well, that was tense, but I guess we're getting back to the award ceremony. It's gonna drink my water now. Well, quit talking about it and do it. I cannot read the text on that door to save my life. It was so blurry. Okay. Why was that guy's eyes closed? Otai parents. Okay, this is important. Yeah, I, I read the title too. All the ones for the whole year, wow. Okay. I probably could have figured that much. So who's your first opponent? Oh. That makes sense with the title, I should have known. Oh yeah, Akira. He can't ignore you then. So when are we going to get that match? Probably not this episode. But that'll be great to finally have a little rematch between the two of them. That's what I've been looking forward to. He's not listening anymore. Exactly what you wanted. <laughs> Declared hostilities. I could see that. In retrospect, yeah, I guess I can see that. He did have very focused eyes. And you'll get to see just how much progress he's made. He obviously has hints because of like Ochi and seeing games he's played and stuff, but nothing quite beats facing up to him face to face on the board. So that'll be great. So, huh, Ogawa versus Toya, it looks like here. Interesting. They may have mentioned that before, but I don't know. I may have missed it. That board is really filled up. Ogata wins by 3.5 Moku. Okay, I guess Ogawa's pretty good. But it's interesting because he lost against Kuabara before, right? So that was because Kuabara played mind games, of course. But still, Toya Tudon. 
So yeah, not even that much up higher than I hit Cardo. Like just one down above. Very big deal. The fourth day of the fourth month. Sorry. Okay. Still doesn't make him late. No, you shouldn't brag about coming early. Yeah, he knows his bone all right. Nobody we haven't faced off against before. Hmm. Ugh. Well, that's fine. I would probably eat him. <laughs> I guess so. There's no reason to reject this offer. Ooh, wow. That sounds pretty nice. <laughs> well, then you try to talk about beverages and... Okay. Yeah, do something about Toya. Yeah, we're definitely not going to have time for the game in this episode, but next episode should be great. Soon Toy will sit right across from me and he'll have to actually look at me. He won't be able to ignore me anymore. He is contractually obligated to actually acknowledge my existence for this match. Well, don't knock the stones off. <sighs> You're shaking a lot there. Be careful. Yeah, but things have just a lot has changed since then. You've gotten a lot better and you should no longer no longer embarrass yourself in front of Toya at this point. I don't I, I'm not sure if winning is a realistic thing here, but you should be able to do decently in the match. At the very least. Like it won't feel like a mismatch at the very least, I think. Yes. So I got to some, some, some time with your father, but I'm getting you, so. Akira is gonna show up to this, right? I keep wondering which set of legs is Akira's. You better not set... Wow, that, that was nice. Anyway, Akira, you better not just not show up, because that would be pretty messed up. I got my hopes up for this. You better you better show up. Akira, you're not you're not here. 
Kira, you're late. You better better hurry up. Akira. Akira, get get over here. Oh. I thought I might have been him for a second. Are you here to tell us that he's not showing up? Doki doki. Doki doki. Hopefully nothing like happened to him, like I mean, I feel kind of bad if he, if this were told he got to do a car accident or something. Well, I figured that much. But why? Oh, okay. So, nothing bad happened to Akira specifically, but that's still a big deal. Okay, I'll forgive you then. Yeah, that's... Well, that really just destroyed the mood now, didn't it? Well, damn. That's how I didn't say anything about that. Ugh. <sighs> Hopefully, Toy and Majin's okay. But I do wonder what exactly they're going to do about the match in this case. Like, are they going to reschedule it or just will Akira take a loss for it? I'm not sure exactly about that. Can you do it, Yuki Kub? One capture. <laughs> Why got two eyes? <laughs> Mine is wrong too. A, B. Quite a hint. Okay. Okay. That was the 52nd episode of Hikaru no Go. And this episode, we learned about a concept called uh, O O Tai, something like that, which is like uh, the game for like the ranking and stuff. And we figured out who we would do that with. And the big reveal is that it would be Akira that he does it with. Which it got me pretty excited about finally getting like a rematch between the two of them, because I don't. It's I feel it feels like it's been a while. I don't remember exactly when it was. Feel free to remind me in the comments if you if you want to, but I don't remember exactly when the last time we had a game is I'm not, between the two of them. I'm not even sure what the last one is. I think I mean it would have had to have been the uh, the Kayo Club thing, right? That was like mentioned. That had to, but that must have been their last game with each other, right? Yeah, but I'm not sure. That must have been a long time ago too. So. It's definitely been a while. Anyway, the point is I was excited to get that, but no, we did not get that this episode because things just were very unfortunate, very unlucky, and Toy and Meijin collapsed, you know. I'm not sure how bad it is. I mean, I saw a little bit of the preview before I turned it off, and we saw he was awake in his hospital bed, so I don't think it was too bad, but, you know, still not, not a good thing. And definitely terrible timing. 
But yeah, I was going to kick out of when people are just dumbfounded that Hikaru's gotten this far and then doesn't know basic, I almost said Mahjong, basic Go things. Which kind of reminds me a little bit of Kaon and Yui, and how she picked up guitar and there was just a lot of talent there, so she was able to figure out things, even though she doesn't know a lot of the terminology and stuff like that. Reminds me a little bit of that. But, uh, yeah, just it's, that's always kind of funny. And also the mother is still, you know, mother always confusion about how all this works. It's like, my son, he's like in middle school, but he has like this job now, apparently, and I gotta like get him a bank account, and he's talking to me about doing taxes. <laughs> like, what is happening? What, what, what even is this? <laughs> Those little bits are always funny as well. The mother, the mother does not get a lot of screen time, but I usually appreciate what she gets. <laughs> because it just, yeah, just the confusion and stuff is always enjoyable. But anyway, yeah, Hikaru very much excited and looking forward to this match. Maybe a little bit nervous, a lot of shaking, but the fact that it's not going to happen, that's that's pretty upsetting, I think, for everyone involved. So hopefully we can still somehow get this match done in some capacity, but I don't know. I'm sure even if we don't, they'll eventually face off with each other eventually, but it just, I don't know, it just really sucks that how this went down. So I don't know, just still, I'm still kind of just <laughs> upset about that. Like, quite a bit upset that that was taken away from me. But, uh... I was also really bothered by Bakira just walking past Hikaru like that, like, not even saying hi or waving or anything. Like, I know he's done things like that before, but just... It especially bothered me now, considering how hard Hikaru has worked and how far he's gotten to be a pro along just like Hikaru is, and yet he still just walks past him like that. Just he could be a little bit friendlier. Just, just saying, like, she could show a little bit of respect to him, you know, just something, anything at all would have been nice. But anyway, yeah, that's that's all I really got to say on the episode. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snoky for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.